Hello, I'm Entrilism and welcome to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. We're about to go on our final mission, the Fortress Assault. We are going to take down the aliens through the portal where they live. And before we do that, we need to do a few things to make sure we are perfect. We're going to spend all our remaining points that we have. So, Dashuma, we have 53 points. We're straight up going to get Revive Protocol, because if we get someone who goes unconscious in the last mission, they're basically down with the entire mission. That's not helpful. We're going to go Revive Protocol. Um, scanning is tempting. Combat is tempting as well. It's 10 points. We'll come back to that in a minute. What else do we have? Andrew Wilkinson is definitely going on this mission. Blade Storm is a maybe. Run and Gun is also a maybe. Run and Gun is good. It's not amazing. Good. I mean, yeah, it's amazing, but it's not as amazing on a soldier who can also hit stuff with a sword. Um, I'm debating taking Dagobah. It's either Dagobah or take a second sharpshooter. Uh, let me see. If we're taking one of each, then we take a psychic trooper. And then, yeah, the choice is either a second sharpshooter in the guise of two shoes. Or it'll be Templar. Dagobert Kellen. I kind of think we have to take Dagobert. So let's see Dagobert. What have you got? Let's so face off. It's 25 points though. 25 points is expensive. Uh, Lightning Hands is a free attack. Maybe useful. Hill us on a pillar. Oh, second. I actually have a high fire. Stun Strike. Stun an enemy with Psionic Force. Cost on focus. A stun is always good. A stun is always good. Any more lockdown is great. Uh, aftershock means that we can get a plus 15 to hit anyone hit with Vault. Amplify. 30% extra damage from a number of future single target attacks. I really hate that wording. I've said it before, but it shouldn't say from a number of. It should say how many more attacks or for attacks for the turn or something. Because I cannot pick this while I don't know how good it is. Because is it number two? In which case, eh. Is it three? Hmm. Is it four? Five? Yes. But until you say that, I... I don't think it's as worth it because by using this, we're forgoing an attack anyway. So by for, for going for this, we don't attack. And it costs a focus. So ignore the focus bit for the moment. If we attack, we normally do damage. You know, 10 to 12. Say. So by using this, we're forgoing 10 to 12 damage. We need that 33% to make up that extra damage. And then effectively, I need to know that it's going to last for at least three attacks. Um, that's, you know, beside the point that we're losing focus doing it. So I'm not really sure I'm going to go for that. I'd like to use a lot more of the Templar stuff. They are great, and especially on a long mission, because they accumulate damage as they hit people. So on a long mission, we'll accumulate more damage, which is going to be cool. But right now, it's no. Um, you know what? I'm tempted to go for some Salomon stuff, like Lightning Hands. Maybe return fire. Because lightning hands is a free attack, right? So we'll take lightning hands. Because at the end of the day, any abilities that give us free attacks, straight up good. We could take cereal on our gunner. Or running gun on our gunner. Ooh. Serial is really, really good. And we have a lot of people who have that, though. And as a gunner, I don't tend to use you that way. Run and gun, however, we can position you and get a shot, which often means a flank shot. And that's actually going to be quite useful on you. I'm going to take run and gun, which means that we have 20 points left, which means one more ability, because there's nothing that costs, you know, less than 10 that we can get twice. Unless there's, like, two 10s, but I doubt it, because 10s are always over here. I might get common protocol, that's 10, but what is there else that we'd want for 10? Like, we're looking at getting Aftershock. Quick draw, eh. Parry, eh, maybe parry. One more point, damn it. <coughs> One more point we could get to really awesome things. Pardon me. You know what? I'm actually going to forgo both of those. I'm going to go hollow targeting. Any bonuses to get to hit enemies who are really hard to hit already? 
which, you know, avatars, might be really useful. So we'll go for that. Mutant Sectopod, Elite Shield Bearer, Heavy Mech, Archon, Gatekeeper, Viper. Let's do it. Commander, we can't afford to let this operation get away from us. Even if it means sending our wounded forces back into combat, we have to succeed at all costs. Furywood. Shumar, I'm invisible. And then... Who left? Uh, G? Who isn't bonded? Well, is bonded, but is bonded with... Charles Judge. And I'm already bringing a Psychic Trooper. I don't need a second one. I mean, a second tr Psychic Trooper would be kind of funny. Would totally be funny. <laughs> we could actually bring two Psychic Troopers. The amount of lockdown we would have would be kind of crazy powerful. It's actually kind of tempting. I could bring two Psychic Troopers. No, no. I, right, if I was playing optimally, I'd, I'd take two Psychic Troopers. Straight up. Because, in addition, Charles Judge is bonded. So we'd get the bond bonus as well. Straight up, if we're playing optimally, I would take Charles Judge. But I think we can get by just taking Daggerbook Cannon. Because I want to try out some of the new troops. I want to make sure we take a Templar. So we're going to take a Templar on this mission. Even though it would be more optimal to get a second Psyker. Because the ability to have that much lockdown would be amazing. Uh, but instead we're going to go over this. I'm going to outfit them and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so. We have. Hollywood. One hell of a veteran. Can I look at the stats? Kills. 131. Been on 25 missions. 140 aim now. Mobility uh, 14. Health 15. Will 40. Dodge 40. Equipped with Serpent Armor, Dark Lance, Dark Claw, and Tracer Rounds. Going into this. One hell of a veteran. Also, the other part, Fury Wood. Fury. With 94 kills. The second most kills of anyone. 27 missions. I think the most missions as well. Will of 46. Aim of 80. Mobility of 17. Oh, health of 17. Armor of 2. Dodge 0. Hack 20. Taking the Arashi, the Katana. Blaster launcher, AP rounds in the war suit. Nope, we'll take it through the roster rather than here. Dashuma! 26 kills, 16 missions. A little bit younger, but very good pickup nonetheless. Very, very skilled. A genius at combat, they say. Uh, Will, a little bit down, a little bit tired. Aim is up to 103, military 13, health of 17, armor of 1, dodge of 54. A hack. That is truly extraordinarily out of this world. A hack ability of 178. Yeah, you heard that right. Uh, equipped with nano, med kit, skull jack, you know, pretty standard stuff. Uh, by the way, AP rounds over here are brilliant on the shotgun over and over again. I've said that, I will continue to maintain that. Over here we have the other part of Shuma. I'm invisible. Shh, I'm invisible. Will, currently at 42 out of 48. Aim is 90. Five. Mm. Mobility is 13. Health is 20, 23. Pretty good health. Uh, armor of 2. Dodge of 5. Psy of 140. Which is a standard Psy of anyone leveled out to top. Hacker 20. Uh, rage armor. Plasma rifle, which has a superior stock and a superior scope for that 4 miss damage, which will be 3 because bug. Uh, superior scope for plus 20%. And advanced hair trigger. I put on whatever I had left that was most advanced, and it was an advanced hair trigger. I have taken off basically the three reload things because this is going to be a long mission there's going to be lots of shooting, it's going to go on quite a while and getting free reloads, they're going to run out by the time we get to that final room and we need the bonuses in the final room so having a larger clip is going to benefit us and I know I keep saying clip it's actually magazine, not clip but I'm sure the game calls it clip in several places and I get confused and then end up saying clip I've taken a stasis vest um, I was tempted maybe by some ammo but actually at the end of the day we're very rarely going to be using this gun and a vest that can increase our health and also provides with regeneration is going to mean that we need less med kits. Uh, so straight up I went stasis vest on that basis. Then we have Colonel G. 
We need someone to able to able to shred. We need someone who is able to blow stuff up occasionally. Gotta be careful with that because those are single-use items and we will run out in the mission. Colonel G brings the pain with only 12 missions, 24 kills. Again, you know, relatively new, but very powerful. Health of 20, ability of 12, the slowest in the group. Will of 46, aim of 95, yeah. armor of 2. We're packing a war suit, a beam cannon, a grenade launcher, a shred storm cannon, a plasma grenade, and frost bomb. I want plasma grenade rather than a uh, flashbang on the basis of. I want to be able to destroy cover. Flashbang. Uh, not flashbang. Acid bomb. Acid bombs don't destroy cover. They do more shred, they don't destroy cover. Plasma grenade destroys cover. I need to destroy cover. Mostly it's about getting the shots on target from the sniper. Uh, and then, of course, we have Krakelin. We did wonder about who to take the last slot. There were several options. It could have been a second sniper. It could have been, and probably preferably, be a second Psyker. But we've gone for Krakelin. Krakelin is bringing 26 kills, 12 missions, 17 health, 60 mobility, 80 aim, dodge of zero, and a flashbang. Now, in fact, do you have a PCS installed? You do. Plus four mobility. Ah, that's why your mobility is 16. Okay. And that's it. We're ready to go. We've got two pairs. We've got Furywood and we've got Shuma, I'm Invisible. Colonel G and Krakelin are both leaving their loved ones at home. The second Sniper and the second uh, Psyker. Sniper and Psyker both being left at home. They will have to kiss their loved ones goodbye and make the most out of this. Let's do it. I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. Watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Did what was needed. Never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. And you're gonna end this. Humanity is counting on us, people. Good luck, Commander. Yes, that is indeed my squad. Okay. Let's do this. Now, important things. Conserve expendables and make sure we use the Templar to get a load of kills to be able to try and rack up that momentum early. We want the extra damage on our Templar. Just don't talk okay. up anything. Stay alert. No way of knowing if they detect our presence yet. Such as, such needs waste. You force our hand, yet still we offer peace. Rejoin us, and your world will be spared. Uh, note that our avatar now is purple. It's a bit weird, because it was blue in the cutscene. 
Uh, I think that's because I've seen a mod. I swear I've seen a mod for that, actually. The, in the game files, there is a blue avatar, but for some reason, in the final mission, you use a purple one. And the mod says, we've just re-enabled this blue model that was actually available, it just wasn't used for some reason. And the suit is also darker, the suit's actually meant to be lighter as well. I might use that mod at some point in the future, because it sounds like a reasonable, fair, you know, comp. Um, right, what do we have? Dimensional Rift. Ooh. Mind control, no that's right. Uh, we also, of course, have Dominate over here. We're going to be saving Dominate for the first time we see a Gatekeeper. We want a Gatekeeper on the side. Right. Here I come. Start moving up. Take this nice and slow. It's okay. It's only like thousands of people dying as we do this. I'm all over it. Commander's avatar. Generation and my brain. Mental fortress. Immune to any form of mental. Okay, cool. Uh, oh dear, wow, I have a very large move range. I'm all over it. Okay, I'm going to move everyone up. Oh, I should have put two slashy people on one side on each rather than two on the same side, but fair enough. Confirmed. Uh... Rolling out! Around. Okay, let's make sure we've got you coming up to here then. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'll maintain my Affirmative. watch. Covering now. Oh, hello. That's a lot of mutants. Yeah, that's a plasma grenade. I can see it very closely. I forgot about Everventure not in Dashuma. Dashuma's just got so many perks, like shredding, for instance, and covering fire. I keep forgetting they're a thing. Uh, Evervigilant, not covering fire. You might have covering fire as well. Wow, okay. Fair enough. We'll take you on. Bring it. Just misunderstood. Please, Gavner. You expect us to buy any of this? More distrust. Perhaps we would find more reassurance in our ways. If... We're going to use Void Rift. Because it's fun. And also, we get to do this. Hi. Mind control resisted, but we did extra damage. Mind controlled and took extra damage anyway because of rupture. <laughs> oh, we're so strong. We are so strong. Oh, it's it's great. Uh, right, we'll move you to here. I'm trusting you here. Oh, it's glorious, absolutely glorious. And we can double move Darshuma, because double moving Darshuma merely gives us uh covering fire. We'll do. Should we move you this way to try and pick up the psychic energy? Moving on target location. On overwatch. And then Finally! Maybe the hand will get Overwatch in as well. Got it covered. On Overwatch. Okay. I do like the look of your like skull check there on your wrist. It's nice that that's visible. Yeah, you need to come down here. And grab that. Plus one focus. Uh, 
on my way. I have eyes on the enemy. Ah! Right, Sectopod. That is a job for Sectopod Man. Otherwise known as Dashuma. Making you friends! Can I have my very own? Eh, not really. Oh, I'd actually probably got it. 45% chance wasn't really worth betting on, though. So instead, we'll shut you down. And then... On my way. Move forward to shoot. Hi. Is that two shield troops? Yeah, it is. Oh, I don't like shield troops. They're annoying. Um. Maybe I should dominate one of them, and then I can put shields on my people over and over again. That seems a pretty sweet idea, to be honest. And they have got a lot of survivability. Oh, I can't actually get to cover you. Um... Can't get another stone close enough. Okay. Oh, uh, do, do, do. how do you want to do this? We could, oh, we could actually quite easily like null lance them and kill them with the null lance. Do we want to get ourselves an elite shield bearer rather than a gatekeeper? I have got myself a gatekeeper before in the final mission. I'm kind of thinking it would be more fun to get ourselves a shield bearer. Join me. There we go. Everybody needs a shield bearer. Where can I grapple to? Ooh! I'll take the high road. I'll do it. Mostly because of reaction. And I do get death from above up here. Ah, I can't see anyone. Right. Um. Right, move to there. Mind control. <laughs> oh, come on then, why don't we do it? Let's just mind control both of them. I mean, one is dominate, one is mind control, but... <laughs> I don't see a problem with this. Let's do this! Rupture on the sector part. And then... I don't think there's a point in rapid firing because it uses our ability up. And ability, yeah, the ability will come back after a few turns, but just in case, I would like to do this. And I don't want to make you visible. Because I don't need to. Okay. Oh, you can only yellow move? Aww. Well, there we go. We've now got extra shield, which is what I want for a long mission like this. <laughs> I think that's a good call. I really do. Uh... It doesn't stack, does it? Let's find out what the cooldown is. Oh, it's one use.
And if I lose the unit, then the shield collapses. Well, you're gonna die anyway, because I'm gonna shoot you in the face in a minute. Bye-bye. Ooh, I actually want to stab you to get the kill, because I want to get some focus out of it. And more importantly, momentum. So if I move to... Where can I see you if I move? I'm pretty sure the one on the inside is the one I want to keep. They're both of the mind control thing. Yeah, it's the one on the outside. Right. Just double checking there, just in case I cock up. Yeah, I need to see your health. Swing back the other way. I need to go on the other side, but... Uh, right. Yes, that seems fine to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, where's Miss Stabby Stabby? Hello. Feel the power of the Templars. Bye. Yes, I know. Shield removed. It's very sad. Now, if I was to put a shield up, would I be hitting everyone? I don't think I'd be hitting Darshuma. Would I? I can't see if you'd do that to me. Yes, I think I'm hitting Darshuma there. Might as well do it now. There we go. Everybody have a shield. Um... And I guess we'll also move everyone up. Up. Around. You want to go around. There we go. There now. You double move because you'll get a free overwatch. Which is great. You reload. Always take the chance to reload if we've not got free reloads. And we haven't because we're packing for a long mission. Let's move already. Technically, it's half cover from one direction, but. Uh, and you can move to. He oh no! Why did I click there? That right click bug again. Um. On Overwatch. Okay. About to get burnt to a crisp. People complain about the weirdest things. I'm gonna get burnt to a crisp. No, you're not. It's fine. Position confirmed. No enemies in here? I was kind of expecting enemies. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's take it carefully, I guess. Oh. Is that an Andromedon? Sectopod? Sectopod. Sectopod! Max! Oh my god! Uh, uh, I saw what was behind you there. Can't quite reach everyone. Holy crap, I saw it was behind you. Has anyone got a blaster bomb? Because I can call a blaster bomb in. Absolutely. Now, where were they? 
They were like there. I probably shouldn't fire my blaster bomb until I'm certain where they are, and I can use you to look because you're still hidden. No, don't lightning hands my ally. Okay, so we can get some pretty good kills here. I could Iac Storm two of them, which would generate a couple of kills. I could Dimensional Rift if I wanted to. Kill a few of them as well. Shield Bearer, you have to stay hidden. Darshuma. Oh, I'm not liking this. You don't have a good place to move to. I'm on it. Locking them out. We'll set up a kill zone with you. I don't set you too close to someone else because you'll just get murdered. I'll put you here, the here shield bearer can move. The shield bearer is effectively a non com from now on. Shredstorm cannon does stop before it goes anywhere good. I'm going to hit two. Going either too far away. I could run and gun. But run and gun wouldn't actually get me. Anywhere decent because of our really short move. Okay. Well, I guess you're overwatching. Overwatch. This is not going to be a good turn for us. Um, I guess we could serial. Yeah, and I don't want to move any closer because I'll trigger more enemies. Um, no length one. Okay, so if we were to serial, we could kill one. We could then probably kill two. We could probably go on to an Overwatch. Something like that, right? It's going to use a lot of abilities, but we serial. Who's next? We go one shot. Check it before you get too close. We could rapid fire, or we could go lightning hands. Oh, no, no, lightning, lightning hands won't do it. Okay, rapid fire. Oh, rapid fire doesn't work at squad site. Damn it! Okay, we have to use Null Lance then. You can't run from my power. You get the kill. Then we probably want to waste one of our like very important reloads so we can go on Overwatch. It's killing time. Because you actually have three reloads of the gun. And kill zone. There. Securing zone. And I'll probably get you hunker. Like we could Ionic Storm kill one person. Oh we can't actually. No, yeah, it's not worth it. We could shoot someone, but again, not worth it. We'll get you a hunker. I'll stay put. You could Dimensional Rift one person. Again, not worth it. Null Lance wouldn't reach him. Uh, how much damage does your gun do? Doesn't say. Uh, you can't hunker where you are. You've got a double move available. Don't want to move you any closer in case we screw things up massively, so I'm going to move you to there. You can't hunker. Really weird. You're humanoid. You should go to hunker. I'm going to move you. You have to go back. You have to go somewhere where you can be in full cover and not in an area effect range. Okay. Hello. This might be a one hit kill. Beautiful. Okay. Now, this is a very, very important move. Orders confirmed on the move. Where are we going to see that huge pot of mechs? I'm on the move. Still don't see the huge pot of mechs. It's okay. We can hold off. 
But it has to act now. I guess that'll be okay. Did I? Suppression removed. I mean, dead. mostly because you're dead. Be dead. But. Holding here. Okay, right. Uh, Overwatch. Anyone who's too far away gets to move a little bit closer. Not particularly close, but does get to move a little bit closer. Oh. Try not to make that much noise. Um, that's on fire. I don't really want to move behind that. On the move. Overwatch. Come get some. Oh no. Hostiles making the rounds. Okay. Oh, 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 they didn't see us, they didn't see us. Right. Where's my blaster bomb? No use, right? Hi. Enjoy. Now, this is a use of a consumable, but I think it's totally worth it for this. We killed something. It was two pods on top of each other, I think. I wonder, could we reaper our way through them? Mm, you might be too high health. Okay, we move to here. We lightning hands that one. Do we have the other really high health one? We do. We shoot that one. And now, we can totally reaper our way through them. Uh, I don't think I want to because I want to make sure we get a kill with Dagobert. And I don't know if I really want to reveal ourselves. Because that would be a waste of a reveal, but we totally could. I could if I wanted to. Take a shot with you. Target eliminated. Is there anywhere we can see any enemies with you? Really? Oh wow. That sucks. Um could hit a few of you if need be. You can't hit anyone. You can hit loads of people. You will pay the price. Hello. I wish I had a reaper on you as well. Momentum. Really wish I could stab you. Instead, we could do Mentional Rift. It seems such a waste of an awesome power. And you do have Conceal again, but that is a one use thing. I guess we use Dimensional Rift. Five turn cooldown. Gatekeeper must be ahead. We haven't seen a gatekeeper yet. I got enemy movement here. They like their mechs, don't they? They really like their mechs. On it. I'll run you up to here. Good elite shield bearer. Wait, what? Shield removed? <gasps> I didn't know there was a time limit on the shield. That kind of sucks. I'd have saved it. But it, wait, it was after your turn. Did I do something wrong? 
No, it's at the end of the turn, right? Yes, yeah, so there's a time limit on the shield. I really didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, I think we might be trapped now. Oh, yeah, uh, that. Dimensional rift. That's a thing. Whoops. Just wrecked the neighborhood. Uh, I don't mind. Copy Property that. values were low when I came here. Good to go. Do your free reload. Ready to engage. Nah, no need to waste a grapple. Stepping off. Stepping off. Stepping off. Hey, hey. I don't move you any further forwards just for now. The shield bearer has no point anymore, so you will be running to the front and get yourself massively murdered as a basically a bullet sponge. Moving out. Holding position. Maintaining this area. Gotta try Onyx Storm at some point, still haven't used it. The thing is, we do need them in an area that's quite tightly clustered, and we need to be in range of effectively a single move, not a double move, because that's kind of the range we're looking at. Now, I could use a blaster bomb here. I don't really want to waste valuable blaster bombs, though. Oh, mutants there as well. Oh, this is going to be a fun fight. Uh, Threadstorm cannon range. We could totally just Let's open up with a Shredstorm Cannon. Again, I don't really want to waste it. But at the same time, I guess, you know, there's a difference between a waste and a good use. Uh. If you say so. So if we put a kill zone up here. And then, gotta make sure we don't group up, obviously we'll use Heavy their uh, ridiculously powerful area effect attack, which is actually not that powerful. It's just very annoying as a player getting hit by an area effect and getting so much damage, because that's, you know, a lot of people who need medkits. Then we use the Shredder. Two just die outright. Ah, didn't know it was going to trigger that pot as well. Hi. Oh, who was that? They set the pod. That's the pod gone. Huh. That's cool. Oh, now we're shooting this other pod. Oh no, that was the other mech. Okay, that was the other mech. I think. Alright, I've got mutants over there. I'm actually going to get my Reaper in a little bit closer to have a look. Not there's much cover left to do that. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Could be more than two mutants. Can't really tell from here. Don't want to get any closer. With my assault, like everyone else is fine. Double move Dash Humor all the time because the uh, ridiculous ability to be able to go, Hi, Overwatch. And I'm going to get you to. Okay. Maintaining position. I'd attempt to move you up if it wasn't a bit dubious about if it would trigger enemies, so. For now. My senses are keen. Moving Overwatch. That's quite close. I 
can't stab you because you counter. I really want to use the Onyx Storm. You know what? Let's do it. Suffer your crimes. Oh, do we run into the middle of them to use it? Oh. Who would have invaded our world? Also, hello. Oh, we don't move. Oh, that's that's awkward. Luckily, we have a ranger in position, but that's awkward. You gonna battle frenzy? Yeah. The only way to see you is to stand in the open. I don't like that. Oh, uh, do we have anyone else who can? Yes. Good. Sell them in. In with the save. Not that we need a save because technically we've got a ranger who can get the kill. Death from above. Death from above. Rock and roll. And then we'll grapple. Deploying grapple. Wee. Okay, I'll go. Technically, it moves a little bit dangerous because we could have seen an enemy there. But I'm pretty sure the two pods we got. On your order. Affirmative. Moving out. And then make sure we will Roger catch up. That. that was an odd camera shot. What? What is going on? Uh, right. On the move. Come get some. Oh, hello, gatekeeper. A couple of archons, a couple of vipers. Do we have our kill zone back? Not for another two turns. Okay, we do have cereal. Commander's avatar does have dimensional rift, which is out of range, and will be out of range until they see us. Okay, my initial thoughts are we do a kill zone with you. Kill zone confirmed. Hmm, Vordriff won't be able to reach you just. If we move to here, I think we'd be in range. Yeah, you can see from the preview that if we're in range of them, they're in range of us. We could open up with like a pretty solid shot on the gatekeeper. I think that's what we'd have to do. But then we can we can always serial to kill everyone with you. Hmm. Here's a toss up. Um We could stabby stab kill, you know, one of the vipers or something, but that seems a bit pointless. Yeah, the technical term is we could stabby stab. I still don't want to reveal you unless I have to. Um, yeah, we're going to sure just can. trigger them by looking. All right. Technically, you do have Shredder, Darshuma, so ah, if you hit the Gatekeeper, we get Shred. Is this the Gatekeeper this time? Yes, and Shred. Very nice. Well, we know what we're doing void rift then. There's no returning from the void. Okay, let's see what effects we get. A death what did you expect? from mind control on the viper, the archon. Resist the mind control, took extra damage. And I don't know what happened to the gatekeeper. Tired of waiting around. I 
can decide what to do with you in a second. Uh, lightning hands. Again, lightning hands is super useful. Lightning hands. You. Because I think Cyril should now be able to kill, like, everybody. Are we still on free reloads if we... No, we can't check our free reloads until we need to reload. Right. Okay. Serial. Let's do this, Cellarman. You know what to do. Uh, rule one. Archons go bye-bye. It's dead. It has to be dead. Rule two. That Archon might have enough health to survive a shot, I think. It's not a good rule. Never said I liked it. Keeps my controller. Um, I'll take a shot. That's enough. Rule two. It's the same as rule one. No guns. No gips. Check it before you get too close. And then, for my PS de la resistance. Hit you and run away. Why not? Ren damage increased. And I will grab the extra focus there. Now, there is a snake I can't actually see. I am aware that there is a snake. Uh, let's see. Reload. Is a Oh, it's an actual reload. So, that leaves in a bit of a bind in terms of that snake. Affirmative. Covering now. Locked and loaded. We could use one of our abilities, like, you know, advanced teamwork to push someone to an action, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm on it. Affirmative. Covering now. Let's see what Snake does. I live to fight on. Take one point of damage because of uh, grades and armor. It seems totally reasonable to me. In which case, Dagobert, would you do the favor? Uh, the favor? The honors. Or do me a favor. A yeah, do me the favor. <laughs> Oh, nothing blew up behind you. The snake kind of died in a very disappointing manner. It kind of just went, uh... Ooh. Ooh. What is this? Have seen? I'm down. Astounding. This entire facility submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. Three years. What form does Mother Shadow allow you? We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the service of the resistance floor. You leave us no choice. Okay, so technically you cannot see Roger Wilkinson, that. so move Wilkinson this way. And then Heading out. start a decent spread with everybody else, just so hey, that we've go. got somewhere guarded from every angle. Unless they have lightning reflexes or something, they should also work quite nicely. I am watching. Because the amount of good aim and firepower we have here should help. You Anyone? Do you actually expect us to buy any of this? More distrust. Perhaps we would find more reassurance in our words if... 
Now, anyone wondering why I didn't dominate an avatar is I'm pretty sure you can't dominate avatars. I'm actually nearly certain that you cannot dominate an avatar. Otherwise, we could be like, oh, we got our own avatar. Um, regardless if it's the mission with the one special avatar or if it's this one. So, I didn't really see a point in trying it. What I want to do here is either set up a kill zone with a sniper. Or go for like a frost grenade or something. I'm thinking kill zone is probably more effective at this stage. We want death from above. Going up. Now we might be able to see them from here. If we can, they'll spot us and they'll move. That's fine. I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, I believe we are past the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but Oh, tired. speak still life. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to us. You were once our greatest asset against this world. It can be so once again. We could use Dimensional Rift, but now we're going into an area with like a lot of people and a lot of stuff going on. I kind of want to save my abilities for long cooldowns. The problem is what else would I use? Um, Moving to position. has holo targeting. Ah, you panicked. Hey, hi. It would help you hit, but... Yes, this armor is scary. Uh, you were followed acting. I kind of want to shoot the other dude with that, but whatevs. Um, oh, we can just reposition anywhere. I forget about that. Icarus armor is amazing. Um, we could reveal you. I don't want to reveal you until I have to. Like, you could go the entire mission without actually getting a kill, and I wouldn't really care because it'd be useful. Uh, what if we were to position ourselves, like, here? Absolutely. And then we went for like a null lance. Oh, no, no, we can get it. All right, null lance. Do it. You cannot hide. Good opening. Strong opening. Oh, I forgot you do that. Okay. Fine. Shinji. Let's move already. Chain shot. No! Can't believe you missed on chain shot! Not good. It's really not helpful. I could freeze you with my frostbite if I need to. Let's try to avoid having to do that. We could trap you in a psychic prison. It only costs one focus. That is really tempting. You know what? That's actually a really good idea. The void is inescapable. Nice. In which case, uh, we can continue our turn as if it was like a normal turn and we weren't worrying about the avatar. Now, I don't know if it's going to TP out of that. If we shoot it, so we're going to shoot it last. Um, we should probably shoot that. I don't know if you should be able to battle Frenzy while panicked. It just seemed a little bit counterintuitive. Oh, still up. I thought it was like a guaranteed kill. Whoops. Affirmative. Covering now. Uh-oh. Looks like they call this back up. Okay. Sure. We can do with them. It's 
next group I'm worried about. Faces are relatively easy because they don't really get that much health. Early on, they're scary. What's this group going to be? Looks like they call this a friend. Yep, that I don't like because that will make a million different codexes, codices, codexes, whatever, that will just murder and pillage and turn off my weapons, which is the worst part. Uh, I don't want you turning off my weapons. It's bad. Let's do you know what, Shinji? Can you do this with a... I oh, can't do Chain Shot because if you used it and it missed. Which is great. Just great. Good. You should be killable by a lot of things now. Uh, we could go for the Stabby Stab to get the kill. Yeah, I like the idea of stabbing you to death. I strike for my people. That makes sense, right? I like the idea of stabbing the avatar to death. It just feels right. That really does sound more and more wrong the more I say it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do over here. Sellerman, right. If you put up a kill zone over here, we might be able to kill all of the codexes quite easily. So if we go to Lightning Hands, the Archon. That's it. It's reloading our gun a free action. Yes, it is. Oh, I don't want to use my free reload, but at the same time, I kind of... I won't use it because although there are three codexes, we probably won't steal three of them. Because, oh no, they're teleport, so it makes that pointless. Alright, we need to kind of go to engage them. I'm gonna take a guess here. Technically, death from above will refund our action every time, right? It's not like a chance, it's like a certainty. Death from above. I got it, right? Death from above. Raid strike. Good use Only there. Best. And then, why can't I see anyone to fire a weapon? Oh. I guess I'll overwatch. I thought I could see some from there. Uh, right. I want you to get the kill against this one. On your order. I didn't want to have to waste your shot, but I guess we can. Check it before you get too close. All right, your momentum move. I want you to move to here. Don't be too forwards. On the move. On Overwatch. Okay. That's annoying, Pod, but we have consumables that should do the job. Not as annoying as Codex is, it's just like straight up it's going to be a tough Pod, whereas Codex is a more annoying. 
Does that count as an action? Because if it does, I'd be very happy. No, oh, it doesn't count as an action. It's a free action teleport. God damn it. I don't like that. Really don't like that. You're dead anyway if it's miss. Cool. That's how it's done. Sweet. I'm under fire. You'll die at the end of the turn because I think it explodes. Taking heavy fire. Oh god, what's this? Looks like they called in some friends. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so this one over here died. Uh, I did say I really didn't like codexes, but you know, it, it's fine. No one listened to me. That's cool. Can I see them from here? Yes. Sure thing. That's right. Great. Just great. Uh, I need to move to somewhere where I can launch a bomb, but I don't want to be flanked. Yeah, if I move to here, I don't know if I'd have enough range on my ability. Is here in range of the explosion? Probably. I'm gonna have to risk being flanked by Moon to here. Finally. Bombs away. <laughs> I like the avatar just next to us dead. Whoa, and he got one of them? God damn it. Wait, it did get that one. Okay, good. I've not got long to make this work. Uh, mind control. Yes. We're going to need everything we've got for this bit. We're going to need to reload. We need to move at the same time. We're going to need you. Your grapple is not up. That is actually a really big problem. You've still got a free reload, which is lucky. We were full on our gun, which is annoying because we lost that. But I don't know if that's it. Hmm. Okay. I wish I could death from above these, but it's not an option. So take our move. We'll take our free reload. Oh, yeah. we'll then shoot you with a dead eye. And that'll kill you instantly. So no cloning for you. I definitely got that one. Dagobert can slash one. On the move. You have to move, so that's a reload for you. Back in. A righteous strike. Okay. Not a kill. Really? That is disappointing. And truly frustrating. <laughs> really frustrating. Okay, uh, I guess that means we might be using you to get this kill then. Fine. I guess we can always go invisible later. Okay, we go here, we could serial, or we could reaper. Like, how much damage would we do on a hit? 11 or 12. I think we need to do 12 to kill you, so it's a 50 50. Uh, whereas a shot does 10 to 12. Uh... I'll leave him frozen. I think it's a better use of our time. And then now. You can scout for me.
Shoot my codex. Do I get to then control both the codexes? Oh god, you moved a long way. Please move close together so that I can blast a bomb you. Yes, that is perfect. Oh. Okay. I had plans for that codex. Position. Not a free reload. And technically flanked. Not great. Well, we need to reload anyway. We'll move you up really high. Do you have a free reload left? I can't tell. Free you do have a free reload. Okay, so we can start doing serial again and getting like crazy amounts of kills. That's all I needed to know. I'll take the high road. You can't guarantee that damage will kill you. Who over here is kind of a minimalist in terms of damage? Probably Darshuma. But I'd like to use Darshuma on the Avatar, because that way we can get uh, Hollow Targeting down. But I guess it's one of those, you know, whatever works situations. And we've got Hollow Targeting on Shinji. Okay, uh... Dagobert. No, not Dagobert. Jester. Heading out. Target eliminated. Then we kill the codex. And then we could could we rapid fire? Yes, we can rapid fire you. Brilliant. So with Cyril, we can rapid fire. We might not even need to. Do you still have the ability to lock someone down in a void conduit? Yes. And it's not on cooldown, so you can use that on the avatar to shut the avatar down. Aha! Right, okay. Coming to a cunning plan now. Can you see the codex? Yes, but not in cover. Who do you see from here? Oh, the Avatar. Right. Not a problem. Well, technically, we could just inspire Shumar. Yeah, let's do that. I give you strength. Shuma, you're inspired. Do you feel... Oh, hair trigger, free action. Uh, I guess we could rupture. If we really wanted to. I'm going to take the shot now because I know I've got the shot available. And it will also do shred. It's a rapid fire. I'm not even going to do cereal for this because I want to save cereal in case we need it later on. Crits. Oh. Well, that's not ideal. I was hoping, you know, you'd be somewhat closer to home for me to kill. Ooh, is the Icarus Jump a free action? I think it is, isn't it? Darshuma?
83. Nice! Very nicely played, Da Shuma. Okay, now move you into full cover. Uh, yeah, you're gonna move into full cover over here as well. And I could null lance. Oh no, I can't do just out of range. In which case, you should probably move to. Eh, no, just leave you there. Understood, moving out. You know what we'll reveal. On your tail! It's worth it for the shred getting two Andromedons at the same time. Uh, and we killed a Sectoid, who I didn't know about. Wait, do we actually get a turn now? Oh, because we got killed, we get to move. Oh yeah, I forgot that's the thing. Uh, you know what? I'm actually happy where I am. Storm, we've got to reach. Flashbang, we've got to reach. Uh, go watch. I'll keep it under watch. And turn. Oh, who are they bringing in now? Vipers? Arco Mutant and the last Avi. That is a mutant's midriff. Asking a Templar to shoot is like asking a piece of tin foil to be a supercomputer. This is not going to happen, mate. Okay. This is actually the first time I've been legit shot at. So I'm getting a little bit antsy here just because it's the first time. That's not good. Oh, panic gonna last a turn. So in theory, we just got a three shot. Which caused the battle frenzy. Zombie? Zombie. Zombie nation. Panic removed. Right. Unfortunately, you're too kind of far away to really play a major role in this coming battle. It's a shame. Uh, that's going to be down to where position you do, so not exactly your fault. Um, what I'm thinking is we blow these ones up this turn. No focus on you next, although that's going to be a problem because we're going to be flanked. If not careful. Let's move already. Take this! Okay. In hindsight, I should have gone left and I should have uh, frozen the left side, but I moved, so it's too late. Oh, it's fine. Free reload. One, two, three. Well, you're guaranteed to die. And we'll get refunded because of death from above. So we'll kill you. I got it, right? Okay. Could use like Ionic Storm or something over here. That might work. We could always use Void Conduit to trap someone. Um, you're still closing down the Dimensional Rift. If only we could get a better lineup for Null Lance on them. What about Null Lance over here? We might be able to line up for a better Null Lance over here. 
wouldn't be ideal until we did like a good amount of repositioning though. Jester, you can do some good shots. Fury, you can also do some reasonable shots. Oh, how close can I get to a Void Rift? Heading out. I don't think I'm going to be close enough to actually use a Void Rift. Yeah, we're going to be short. We could teamwork Darshuma. I'm kind of thinking that Darshuma is actually best spent teamworking someone else. And I know we're going to be flanked by this. We'll do that in a minute. We teamwork you. I am with you. And we get all the way to here. Ah, you panic because of rage suit. Don't move too far. I need to be in range of my explosives. Oh, that's good. I like it. Uh, right, then. Yeah, no, I have to hit all you with Void Rift. There's no returning from the Void. Okay. Do it. I'm hoping for some good, like, reactions. Maybe some, like, mind controls. Mutant was killed. Panic. Panic. Nice. That will cause you to TP, right? Huh. Oh, if only I had a little bit more damage on you. Um, I could hit you. I'm kind of looking at this and thinking this is an opportunity for a rapid fire on an Avi, which would ignore the armor, which would be a kill. Like, it would be a straight up kill, no questions asked. On your order. Yes! Done! We are awesome! Jen, tell me you've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless... Commander, whatever it is you're doing is working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. the commander's consciousness that sever the connection we do that we risk a complete overload we will claim what was given we will be whole once more no Returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. Heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. 
We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way. Finally come in from the cold. Brothers and sisters, welcome home. Okay, so that was all the new endings as well, one for each faction, because we kept every faction on the side. There we go, Commander Victory. We won 56 missions. <laughs> God, a lot longer than the original one. Uh, well, did it in 49. I could have done it earlier. I decided I wanted to do everything, though. Uh, Flaws missions, 17. They did 18. Yeah. We killed more aliens. I mean, we did more missions. That makes sense. We lost eight soldiers, they lost six. Meh. They got more successful shots and more mission turns left. Meh. Fine. We killed all the Chosen. Days to first Chosen kill. I would have done it faster. We did delay that, that's true. Uh, kills by faction heroes. We did lose our faction use our faction heroes a little bit less. I mean, if we power leveled the Templar earlier on. Um, global ability points earned. What? That's what? Someone must have found a way to break the game and has completely skewed that. There is no way that is a reasonable number. Oh, it must count everyone using mods, maybe, to like get max ability points or something. Maybe. It's got to be the way. Cover actions completed. Number of levels of soldier bombs. Really? People don't ship their soldiers as much. Wow. So what I found is I am really pro shipping. Um, pretty normal, pretty normal. I got more colonels. I train more psychic soldiers. Really? People only want one. Weird. Hack rewards earned. I'm really pro hacking, apparently. Really pro hacking. So I like to ship people, and I like hacking and psychers. That's what we found. I don't like scientists. That's fair. Uh, in the game. 
I get mag early, I do. I get mag a little bit late. I get beam a little bit late. Eh. Give or take, like, that's less than 10%. Um, play armor late. Uh, I shouldn't, but that was fair. I did get late this time. Days power armor. I got power armor early. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it's fair. It's fair. Intel collected. Yeah, this is broken. This is definitely broken. Supplies earned from black market. That's probably broken by that. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to really understand those stats. Those are totally broken. Completely broken. Oh, dear. So that's War of the Chosen. I'm just going to sit here just in case there isn't, like, an end credit sequence. But, uh... Damn. That was good. Seriously, one of the best expansions I've ever played. In fact, like, I, I know right now I can't think of a better expansion. That might just be because right now I'm basking in that after War of the Chosen glow. But it was so good. Adds so many new things, fixes a lot of stuff, adds a load of stuff that, like, mods did to effectively tweak and fix stuff. Took a lot of stuff from Long War on board. Um, really good. And I think we did really well, actually. We powered through on Commander. It does have the difficulty problem that most XCOM games have, although I think it's a little bit easier in how it does some of those. Maybe not easier in this game, but maybe it eases the curve a little bit is what I was trying to say. In that it's got that early game hardness and then late game it's easier. And it's not because the late game is easier, it's because the late game you have more abilities to choose from to deal with a situation. Like, you saw that I was picking a lot of lockdown abilities, so I had stasis, I had the similar, effectively the stasis thing, I can't remember what it's called, on my... A Psyker. I had Banish, which is kind of like a stasis, and it just kills someone in one turn. Um, I had Hack, which is effectively a stasis for robots. Uh, there was another stasis as well, wasn't there? Freeze. Yeah, so I could freeze them with the Serpent Suit, I could freeze them with a Frost Grenade. And these are all things that just stop a character acting. There are other ones that act similarly, but in different ways. Like, we can panic them, we can mind control them, etc. These are just the ones that stop someone acting, right? And having all of those gave us a huge variety of things to pick from in a situation and allowed us to tailor what we needed to do to the situation. So it's not because enemy damage scales off in the game or because um, our damage gets crazy good. Yeah, our damage gets good, but so does their health and so does the number of enemies and so does their ability to withstand damage. You know, they get more armor, etc. What happens is that we scale up in terms of what we can do. The very, very early game, you have the issue that you can't hit much. Late game, it's not really an issue. Early game, yes. You've got to very much sit get the situation right. And you have very few options. Your options consist of, I've got to try and find a flank somehow. So, early game, the issue is, I have to do this. I can't find a way around it that's cunning. I'm going to have to try and make these shots work. So, I think that is the issue that XCOM still faces as a game. I think it's sorted out a little bit. Um, I also do think that if there is a downside to this expansion, the downside of the expansion consists of the fact that the Chosen are amazing, and as soon as you kill the Chosen off, eh. And I think the avatars need to be made a bit harder. After facing the Chosen, and then fighting some avatars, I kind of went and the avatars was like, Mate, why should I fear you? Like, I know the Chosen were really all show and tell, and they were going, Oh, look at me, I'm so hardcore. But the Avatars just sat there going, No. Occasionally they go, We were the, we were the elders. We are so important. And they didn't do anything that really made me fear them. Oh, well, they've got a badass mind control ability. Yeah. And yes, it is hard to come up with some... This is very hard. Like, I'm not suggesting a solution because, straight up, it's a hard situation. I don't know what the solution is. Like, what would you give them? Oh, an ability to one-shot kill someone. That's just bull. Like, you wouldn't do that. That's just bad. You shouldn't give someone a thing that kills off a soldier, which they've been making for, you know, 50 missions or so. They've put a lot of effort into that soldier, and there's no way for them to solve it. Especially with psychic powers, because they don't use cover as a mechanic. Like, there would be nothing you can do to solve that. It's like, oh, bam, psychic ability, you're dead. No. Um, that's what's hard. And that's what they do with the Chosen. You can see very much from the design of the Chosen that what they have is they have a lot of abilities that change how the battle plays rather than being... And they, they said this in the early game when people went, oh my... In the development, when they went, oh my god, you're putting the Chosen in? 
and they're gonna just like they're gonna be really strong they're just gonna one shot my guys that's terrible why should we have this and they went no no the chosen are gonna have special abilities that change how the battle plays out and they did it I was a bit dubious because I'm like, mm -hmm, that sounds difficult, but no, they really did it. The Chosen do abilities that change how battles play rather than being one-shot kills. Now, they are still super dangerous and they can do a lot of damage to you in that they can knock a guy out, run away, come back, run away with the person to a capture facility. You can then uncapture them. Free them. Uncapture? You know what I mean. The point being, though, you have a way to deal with that. And yeah, I know that letting them capture a person then to go re- jig them or whatever is not ideal and it's certainly not the same thing but when they're unconscious you can put a person next to them not unconscious disoriented you can put a person next to them to pull them up and it really does affect how you position when you've got the chosen around it very much affects your team dynamic because you want to be close knit but against certain chosen you don't want to be in an air effect a bubble or whatever and i really think the chosen have done that i don't think the avatars have stood up to the test of time compared to the chosen the avatars were just merely Oh, look, they're a bit tough. And especially when XCOM 2 initially came out, they were, oh, they're pretty tough. But that was it. And now we have chosen to compare them against. It's like, well, no, the avatars need to be the sort of top tier end boss type. And they're not really standing up to it. I mean, as we saw, though, uh, compared to what we have right now, sector, uh, sector pods were just dying in one turn with ease. Andromedons less so because of the fact that they come back and then they go down again but when we can do that sort of damage partly because of all the abilities we've got it makes it very hard to balance the game i understand completely that they're having a hard situation with that and don't worry this is me just nitpicking this one single thing um the game in oh my god the game in total is amazing just the expansion is great but I understand where the issue comes from here. And this is this one thing that is not perfect. It's the difficulty curve of early game. You've got this really hard difficulty. It kind of comes down a bit. And then towards the end game, it really does flatten out very much. I think it's about a third the difficulty or something. So, you know, big differences there. I mean, part of that's down to the fact that I cherry-picked a load of people, picked the one with the best secondary abilities and bought the points in them. Um, it is down to strategic building of my force. And you could say that, you know, that is something that I did well... And that benefit me in the fights. Um, I'm not the best tactical player, but by cherry picking and then picking some really awesome abilities, maybe my strategic play benefited my tactical play. Yeah, that might well be right. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that down below. Um, still disappointed we didn't get a Reaper uh, with Reaper. A Templar with Reaper, sorry. I'm calling them Reapers. Uh, no, Templar with Reaper. I've got that on my stream. My god, that is good. Because, you know, your Reaper goes around and does like 11 to 12 damage, right? When you fill them up. Yeah. Chaining that. Repeatedly. Totally down for that. And your Ranger, yeah, oh, my Ranger gets Reaper. Oh, my Ranger does like 11 to 12 damage when I upgrade it fully in that path. Yeah, but your Ranger needs a special weapon to make that work. I can have a ranger who has that, and then a Templar who has that. I can't do two rangers at the same time, because you'd be dropping a little bit of damage to the Fusion Axe, and there will be a chance not to hit, which really ruins Reaper. If you're in the middle of a load of enemies, and you go, ha, whoops. That's a problem. Although that said, I guess you have the ability to, if you get a... No, no, yeah, you still wouldn't be able to move, would you? Because you need to get the kill to move with Implacable. Yeah. So that would be a tough, tough call. I also think this expansion should be, like, subtitled XCOM 2, the next generation. Although, you know, it's more than just the next generation. But, my god, there's a lot of Star Trek people in this game. Also, by the way, if you still up to this point in my talk about the game, uh, let me know down below. I'd be interested to hear how many people <laughs> decided to actually watch all the way through to me talking about the game and actually found it interesting, or were just sitting here hoping there's going to be an end cutscene. If so, you do realize you can skip ever ahead in this video, right? You can. This is also a really long episode. Hi. Uh, yeah. So, I really like the ability point 
buy system as well. I really think that is an awesome system. It is annoying when you get certain troops who you're like, oh, this is my favorite person, and I've upgraded them, and they're a oh, all their secondary stuff is terrible. But at the same time, you can deal with that. By the time you get to the end game, you've probably had time to level other people up, and you've got options, so. You can get very unlucky and get a lot of people with terrible second options, I guess. But, eh, you've got ways around that. You've got missions where you can buy people off, buy people for intel and stuff from the black market. Hmm, cold. Cold tea. Ugh. I'm slowly sinking down the third of my chair as this, you know, credit sequence goes on. But that said, I'm also tempted to keep the credit se sequence playing because these people have done some amazing work. I think they fully deserve to actually have the credit sequence played. There we go. My arm's working today. Ish. Uh, what else to talk about? I still don't know what happened in the last episode of my Reaper getting seen. Because we've definitely got seen it further than the normal range. Is it just the Advent Network Tower? Or is it a change to Reapers? Because if it's a change to Reapers, Reapers become pointless after the Vanish. And I know that I could abuse Reapers, and I did throughout the time the campaign to be able to get Squad Sight. But removing the thing that is the Reaper, which is effectively that they are the ultimate stealth unit, kind of takes a purpose when most of their other abilities are kind of meh. It's like, oh, I can do stuff while invisible. Yeah, but if we're doing stuff while invisible... And I've also got my team around, I could just shoot them. There are people who do a lot more damage than my Reaper. My Reaper, like, endgame was still doing, like, maybe 8 damage. Oh. Everyone else was doing, like, 11 or 12 and had better abilities for it. Like, Serial, Rapid Fire, Chain Shot, although Chain Shot never hits for me. Chain Shot is one of those things for me that, although it says 8% chance to hit, is always a third chance to hit. You know the drill. Just some people have certain bugbears. Just luck happens to work out a certain way. Statistics just throw you a curveball and say, you know what? Occasionally, you've got this power, and you just have a bad run of luck with it, and that's your thing now. My thing is, I don't hit with Chain Shot. It's not going to stop me from using it that much, because statistically, it should have an 80% chance to hit the first time around, which should get me a second shot at, like, 65, because it's I think, minus 15% of the second shot. For me, though, it's not going to hit. I wonder if they've got, like, coded in it. It's like, change shot. It's an 80% chance to hit. Unless Steam account equals EE, in which case, zero. Actually, I'm linking my, my Steam account for this. I'm on a press account, so no, it doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. Oh! Matt Mercer was in this as soldier slash additional voice. Really? Ah. And Liam O'Brien was a voice director. Ah, they're good people. Anyone else I recognize? Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I'm not going to recognize the German and Italian voice actors. I know barely any anyway. Uh, anyway, what was I before I got totally sidetracked? There was a sidetrack. And then there was another side road. And then there was this little dirt path leading to nowhere. And then a small gorge. And then a canal. And then a shipping lane. Don't ask me how far I got from a canal to a shipping lane. It was a long story. Anyway, where were... Where, I've completely lost the track. Uh, that's just me, though. I've completely lost the thread. It's just me. Um, that's what I do. I'm actually kind of looking at the names now to see if I recognize anyone else. Yeah. Uh... I mean, from the non-game developer side, I recognize a few of the game developers. I did see an earlier video. Now, this is quite a lot earlier. I mean, it went out a few days ago, but I'm recording this really early because I couldn't stop playing x uh, Where people were saying, oh, people forget about AI in games because it's not sexy, so they underfund it. And I think that is definitely true, and it is done by a lot of people. Um, strangely, I would say that the big criticism of Firaxis in terms of Civilization is that the AI is trash. But in terms of XCOM, I don't think the AI is trash. I think that, yeah, there are certain AI profiles out there that make the AI much more aggressive. But I don't think that aggressive and good are the same thing unless you're looking for difficulty. If you're looking for difficulty, sure. But there's a difference between aggressive difficulty and letting you have a little bit of an easier time with an AI. 
Um, the AI still does its job in XCOM. The AI does its job, it does its job relatively well. Sure, it could do some things more optimally. And sure, there are certain bugbears, like for instance, we saw the Chosen Sniper being a 50-50 on city maps. 50% of the time, the Chosen Sniper would actually shoot you. 50% of the time, the Chosen Sniper would just jump around the rooftops repeatedly. I don't think that the AI in XCOM has a particular massive problem. There are certain areas where it could be tweaked or something. But I don't think it's a big problem. Let's see if there's a, anything after the credits. No, no there wasn't. Sorry, everyone who uh, stayed to hear me ramble. I hope my rambling was worth the time you invested. That's another, like, what, like 10 minutes of your life not getting back? Sorry. In all fairness, you have watched like one hour of almost 40 of this video now, so that's one hour 40 of this, you know, your life you're not getting back. What's this, like, equivalent of like five cigarettes? How much is a cigarette? Like 20 minutes of your life? I can't remember. I am better than five cigarettes. I really hope I am. Let me know down below. Anyway, oh yeah, I've asked you a lot of questions to answer down below, but whatever. Anyway, this has been a great episode. I've really enjoyed that last mission and the additional endings. I really think this expansion is totally worth it. And it, I know people are like, well, it's pretty expensive for an expansion. It does add a lot of stuff. Straight up, it adds a lot of stuff. Would I like to see it cheaper? Well, yeah, because I'm like a consumer advocate. I'd like to see it slightly cheaper. But at the end of the day, it's a good expansion. It's worth it if you think that money is, you know... Eh, to you. It depends on the person. It depends on the person, like, straight up. Some people are going to be like, oh, well, 40 euros? That's not a lot. I can spend... I don't know why people are spending euros in our American accent. Terrible American accents at that. Um, but, you know, if that's not a lot to you, then sure, you're going to buy it. If that is a lot to you, like, that's the problem with saying, oh, this game's too expensive or not. Sometimes that is true. But sometimes, and a lot of the time when it comes to that middle range, it depends on the person buying the game. So what I'd say is, it's in that area where it's it's charging what it's worth. It is pushing the limit, but I think it's it's right in the area it's in. Would it could it be five euros cheaper or something? Yes. But it has so much content that I really do think this is a good investment for the game. Um, that said, it will probably go down in price by like ten euros within six months, and then if you don't need it day one, don't get it day one. You don't need to buy games on day one or day seven or even month one. If you really want to, sure. But unless you're literally talking about what you did in the game with your mate who also got it at the same time and had for some reason to buy it in day one, you can get it a little bit later. The game's still going to be just as good. In fact, it's going to be better because there's mods. Like, straight up, it's going to be better because there's mods. And I am looking forward to a modded run. Do let me know down below if you want to play more um, in the comment section. Like, let me know about the mods and stuff. Give me a like, etc. Or subscribe if you're not subscribed. I mean... I'd be kind of surprised how many people are watching this and not subscribed by episode 47 or whatever this is. I think it's 47. Um, but yeah, I've been at Relysium. Until next time. Stay shiny, Commander.